This weekend I was still in bag making mode, so I made, finished making these two. This is the Nora bag uh, by Swoon Patterns, and it's actually a lot nicer than the last one I made, and I chose to put fabric on the ends instead of vinyl, and that seemed to make a huge difference to um, how well the shape held up. Still not 100% happy with the way that it closes, i.e. it's just got a flap, and these bits are kind of open and exposed. Um, but I do have a plan for another one for a hack which will make these sort of close together like this. So I'm not sure when I'm actually going to get around to doing that. Because um, as I mentioned later I'm going to go back into quilt making mode. Um, but yes, so this is my leopard print, I guess, Nora doctor bag. And it's just a little swivel clasp, a little thread I actually need to cut off there. Um, and it's, the inside is kind of held, the lining is held down really nicely and it's got a little zipper pocket. And then the other pattern is a new-ish pattern. I say new-ish because it's newly released to the public but it was from the bag retreat. Um, so this is by Mrs H and Samantha releases, uh, well she does a retreat um, once or twice a year and this year it was twice. And at those retreats she has some exclusive bag patterns and this was one of them from the uh, the autumn retreat. So after a while she'll release the patterns and then the public can buy them like me. And this is the squiffy bag. Uh, it's held, It's also foam interfaced so it looks like a normal shoulder bag but it kind of holds a nice shape because normally they're quite slouchy. It has a magnetic snap at the front and it's just quite simple inside zipper pocket, slip pocket in there. I made my crossbody strap really long so it's actually it will work for anybody of any size. I usually have mine on, on the shorter side of things. Um, and it's got a blue vinyl. The only thing I didn't do with the pattern is I didn't fold the vinyl over to um, hide the raw edges because I didn't think it needed it with vinyl. But if you were using a contrasting fabric, then you definitely have to do that. I do have trouble with this particular vinyl, this one and a teal one. I think it's just a little bit too thick and um, it just it doesn't uh, cope very well when you're folding it to make handles and things like that so that's why I didn't do that and I'm glad that I didn't because it's had got quite a nice finish on there um, uh, yeah it's made from like one really big well two really one for the lining one for the outer really big sheets of paper um, you tape about 16 pages together in total for all of the pattern pieces so it's a little bit different uh, to normally cutting out rectangles and things and you kind of fold it together uh, but it's still got a really nice shape and I'd recommend the pattern uh, to people who were maybe you've just made a tote bag and you want to try and make something that's actually more of a purse kind of bag and it's really quite easy to do um, and the hardware is from Emmeline bags like usual so that's what I got up to this weekend um, I also have some new fabric because I forgot to do one of these last week so I have two weeks worth um, this is a muslin print it's kind of quite stiff and I got it from my sewing room and I use it for all my linings now because I'm not having to interface it. So it's saving me a little bit of money. I'm not going to have to use shape flex on the back because um, it's already kind of quite crispy. So that's that one. It's quite a cheapy one but it looks really nice in linings because it's not completely plain but it also goes with everything. I also bought this. As I took the rest of the bolt um, from the half price sale. I've been having a lot in the half price sale recently because they're clearing out ready for new additions. I think they're expecting a lot of new fabric in soon. Um, no real plans for that yet. Then, by post, I ordered some half yards. So these were from Lucy and Mab's fabric. I got some Anna Maria Horna, some squirrels and foxes from the Magic Forest collection by Sarah Watts. And then, oh, I did forget one when I bought the half price um, winged fabric, this one. I also bought um, a meter of this as well. So I already had some of this, but now I have a bit more. Just because it was the two nicer prints in the clearance section. So then yesterday I went in to buy a yard of this, which I'll come to in a minute. And I also bought a couple of fat quarters, because why not? So this is from like a dinosaur range in the kids section. This is sort of these big sort of palm leaves almost. And then I got this one which has got little dogs on because who can pass up little dogs? Not me. My next project is going to be cutting into this big stack of stuff and technically the two solids at the bottom, these are new acquisitions as well I got from Funky Monkey Fabrics, these are just Konak solids. And the plan is I am going to go back on to making a quilt. 
as you can see my quilt wall behind me is now empty I took the quilt down because I wasn't sewing those bits together it wasn't on my priorities so I took it down and I will be using the design wall for building this quilt on um, it's going to have like a trellis design it's a stash building quilt uses fat quarters and things like that then I needed this for the sort of the wooden trellis so this I already had not enough fabric I had to top it up with another meter I'm hoping that's enough and then I've got some uh, sort of quarter meter cuts from my stash that I'm going to mix in there. I'm trying to do a bit more of a stash sewing um, because I don't do enough and it's tempting to always buy new fabrics and or use fat quarter bundles so it's quite nice to kind of take things off the cards and actually make something out of them. So I might have to add a few more to this particular stack but that's why I'm going to be working on this week. Cutting all of these up, making a couple of sample blocks, making sure it all comes together and my aim is to finish this quilt or at least the top of this quilt within the next two to three weeks.